First, ensure that Bluetooth is enabled on your device and you have downloaded the LPI SPD app. Open the LPI SPD app and select Peripheral, then Start Scan and select SST150B and select Start Connect. First, we will press the Surge button on the demo panel to simulate a transient pulse. We will also rotate the phase to neutral voltage dial to change the live voltage. Both of these changes can be seen in the app. The SST150B modules use two metal oxide varistors or MOVs as part of its hybrid protection circuit. To simulate an internal fault, toggle either the MOV1 or MOV2 switch. You can now see the MOV status in the SPD app has changed to fail. To show 100% fail, toggle both switches. Notice the red flashing LED on each unit when there is a fail. We are now going back to the search screen of the app to find our NE15B by hitting the manual connect. Again, we will simulate a transient pulse by pressing the surge button on the demo panel and change live voltage by rotating the voltage dial. The NE15B modules use a single gas discharge tube or GDT as part of its protection circuit. To simulate an internal fault, toggle the GDT switch to the up position and observe both MOV status tabs in the SPD app change to fail. Now we will show what happens when all units have failed. There may be a lag time of up to 30 seconds. The blue LED on the units indicates comms in progress. When all units fail, the alarm status will turn to red. Now that the alarm status has turned to red, we will switch all units back on and wait for the alarm status to turn green. To reset information within the SST150B and NE15B, disconnect power and allow a couple of seconds. While holding down the reset button, reconnect the power and allow 5 seconds, then release the reset button. This will clear all values for all units.